Hey everybody, Mike here. We're playing Ratchet and Clank again. Um, so, before heading off to Planet Altanus, I decided to go back to Pukataru just to get the Persuader. I don't know why I didn't think to do this a moment ago, but yeah, I'm gonna get the Persuader and um, illegally hack the Gadgetron vendors just so I can get the uh, Visibomb Gum at a cheaper price. Perfect! This is precisely what I need! You will bring me more raritanium. You can't be serious. Ah, well, I tried. And of course, you can see that he wears the persuader on his um, on his uh, chest right there. <clears throat> I got some great bargains for you today. Cool. Finally got the visibomb gun. While I'm at it, hmm. I got some great bargains for Might you. Might as well get the decoy glove too. And now the decoy glove can be used to flip into areas you're not supposed to, like the uh, hoverboard track on Blackwater City. Clank? Clank? Come on, wake up! Captain Quark? <laughs> no, goofball. It's me, Ratchet. What happened? You got toasted by lightning. This place is having one heck of a storm. You won't be safe out there. I'll be right back. So now this is the only time since the prologue where we have to play a level without playing. This is also where we can get the um, uh, the Tesla Claw. It's It comes at a pretty high price. So, obviously, we might not get it in this run, which is fine. But I was gonna say, I think this level is pretty cool for a couple of reasons. Like, first off, in terms of gameplay, it goes to show you that you can't always rely on your most valuable tool. So, so now, since you can't, like, glide or do anything like that, um, you have to be extra careful when you're trying to, um, make these jumps or go on these very narrow paths. Now, in terms of the narrative, I actually think this is a really awesome touch. So, throughout the game, Ratchet and Clank were, uh, were constantly fighting through the second act, and eventually gets to a point where they reconcile, and so now, Ratchet has to go through the city without Clank's help, and it really goes to show, like, how much he took him for granted, and how valuable he really was. So I think that's a really awesome touch. Alright, so now we're going down what I like to call Captain Quark's original path of death. Yeah, this is going to be pretty tricky, but, eh, whatever. The only thing that we really get to uh, get at the end of this path is the Gadgetron PDA.
music in this, uh, in this entire level is actually really cool. And as I said before, like, yeah, I do like to listen to Ratchet & Clank's soundtrack when I'm uh, doing things like drawing or even, like, when I was out shoveling snow, like, it's, like, it's just, they don't make soundtrack this great anymore, and that's a real shame. Because it's just, like, the kind of thing that, you know, you would just download and listen to in the car. But, I mean, I'm not saying that like modern games don't have good soundtrack. A lot of them do, but at the same time, you still have to listen to a lot of the same the same orchestral beats and it's like it's cool and all, but there's really no um uh, like main difference and that's kind of a shame. I think I missed a gold bolt. I'll have to go back and check. Yeah, that's another thing. I, I also cannot strafe anymore. good control over his jumps. Yeah, there's the gold bolt over there. I knew it was somewhere. It's been a few years since I played this game. But I, I mean, I always go back to it from time to time. I'm done. Thing deals a lot of damage. Soundtrack changed because usually it has the um like a different soundtrack from when it's in this part of the game. But I don't know, maybe it's probably a glitch. Wouldn't be surprised.
Yep, just use that momentum. There we go. And over there, there's the uh, Morph Array. Captain Quark! Where? Come on, Quark, I know it's you. Uh, the name's Steve. Pleased to meet you. Look, Steve, I need to know where Drek is before it's too late. Did you say too late? Sir, it is never too late to acquire the latest in the long line of quality products from Gadgetron. I have for you, today only, the Gadgetron PDA. Public display of affection? No, 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 personal delivery assistant. <clears throat> this device allows you to purchase ammunition wherever and whenever you want it. Yeah? How do I know it works? You can always trust Gadgetron quality, or my name's not... Steve. Thank you, and have a quark-tastic day! What'd you say? Oh, nothing. You know, I really miss, like, um... How they would say that. And also, I'm glad this is emulated from the PlayStation 2 because there's a weird glitch on the PlayStation 3 where when he says that line, where he says, "If my name isn't Steve," like his his eyes like like sink in, and you just see like the the whites, and it it just looks really jarring. But now it's like, why is he? he I know he's like, um, he's like a, a shamed celebrity, like now just trying to like, ignore his, like, shamed past before moving on to other criminal, um, activities. But you would think that if he tried, like, um, doing things for, like, Gadgetron, they would know who he is, being, like, a, a celebrity icon and all. Okay, I know I'm supposed to go down that alley in order to, um, get the info bot. But chances are I'm probably gonna need more bolts and I wanna go get the the morph array anyway. Should have stocked up on ammo for this thing. So yeah. So unlike the um the ones on Umbrus, you can actually destroy those turrets. Range is pretty far. The, uh, the Gadgetron PDA is that, of course, you can buy ammunition like wherever you are, but of course, it, it's like a lot more expensive. And I know they brought back the PDA for, um, for what do you call it? Up your arsenal. And as funny as I wouldn't be surprised if this was another one of uh, uh, Captain Quark's illegal hacks. But the other thing that a lot of people use the PDA for is proxies because as soon as you exit the, the Gadgetron menu um, it kind of resets your position almost in like a standing type of way so they can like immediately crouch and flip gaining a bit of altitude and with that they can just do it infinitely to get across gaps. Um, I haven't been able to get the timing down right but I was able to do it like maybe 
once or twice. these things are pretty cool. At least they kind of stop when you latch onto them. So you're not like falling to your death and I'm already getting PTSD flashbacks from those moving targets when I was playing premature release. There's also a secret path that opens up when you finish like every path that will take you to a gold bolt. It's especially difficult. I'm gonna give it a shot. No guarantees there. I'm not gonna, gonna stress out about it though. Okay. Missile went completely around those turrets. Is the bomb blow gonna work? Yeah, I just gotta time it right. As he dramatically approaches it. Sweet. Ah, crap! I missed a gold bolt. Ah. You know what? Forget it. I got some great bargains for you today. That's a real beauty. Oh well.
I remember the um the gold variant of this weapon turns them into like giant exploding chickens. It's kind of funny. to look like that or is that just for an easter egg? Sandmouse house. Might as well.
got you, you son of a bitch. Hey, hey, welcome to my shop. What can I get you? I'm looking for Drek. Sure, yeah, I got lots of stuff on sale. After the bombing, no one is around to buy anything. Are you okay? Low prices? Oh, you bet. I can make you a deal on a busted turburator, a, a mangled carbonizer, or a... I got this info, bot. Guess that bombing was pretty loud, huh? Oh, you're one shrewd negotiator. I'll tell you what. I can let this info bot go for half price. Well, that's about it for me. Thanks. Quit your complaining. I gave you a great deal. Jeez. Afraid to go out at night? Afraid to go out during the day? Just plain afraid? Then you need this! The Ultra Mech Unlimited! This mech is the ultimate in personal defense system! Blood Industries is now taking pre-orders! Get yours before it's too late! Now that's what I call serious firepower! Clank's gonna be jealous if he sees this! I'm kinda glad that... Um, they got rid of this in later Ratchet and Clank games because I know they even said this in developer commentary where it's like, you know, you've already made it to the end of the stage, like why force the player to have to pay to access a new level when they may not be able to afford it? I remember they did that in Going Commando as well, that was probably the last time they, they really did it. Um, but remember you had like that one character? That he he's just like, please let me have a meager few bolts for food, and then as soon as you pay him, he um he eats the bolts as they were his food. So that ship that just uh, flew by, that happens as soon as you finish the, the other remaining paths. So this will lead me to a gold bolt. Like I said, I'm not gonna stress out about getting it. Okay. Woo! Shoot! Ah! It's already been a half hour already. Mm, too far away. Here we go.
point of four two. Well, I guess Quark didn't eliminate them. <laughs> How observant of you. Thank you, sir. Now, if you were only so diligent in doing your own job. Yes, sir. Since our new planet is nearly finished, we need a plan to remove the world that is occupying our selected orbit. This time, it must be absolutely foolproof. Time is wasting. You know, I just realized something. Like, with a lot of the planets, um, yeah, I gotta look into this a little bit more. Um, the skyboxes are actually pretty cool, but I noticed that in later games they become a lot more dynamic. Like, a lot of them for, um, uh, going commando, they have, um, like clouds that cycle through. And I'm sure there are a few, like, here as well, but, um, the skyboxes are, like, a lot more dynamic in later games. I think that's pretty cool. I know there's also a um a gold bolt path somewhere. And you also get the, um, this code bot, this thing that's entirely useless. I mean, I think the code bot may have been intended to be used as sort of a gadget, but in reality, it's only good for one, like, secret gold bolt on this planet, and I'll show you where that is, like, when I get over there, because I'm heading in that direction anyway. to, you know, bypass this or use proxy, but I'm not going to stress out about it here. Ah, uh, yes. The bolt grabber. Definitely worth it. It's kind of annoying having to like run around just to collect uh bolts.
And we wait some more. So this is the door that requires the code buy, because you have this weird looking lock, and it's just kind of like, I don't know. Like I said, maybe it was just a developer thing that never really made it, like, anywhere, but... What's even weird, it's like, when I first got the code bot, I had no idea what it was for. I just stumbled upon this by accident the first time I played through it. Was it pi over infinity, or...? Hey! You need help fixing that thing? Actually, I'm trying to destroy it. Why? I was contracted to re-engineer me enlarging machine to create huge, heavily armed mechs. So that's where those mechs came from. Precisely. Had I known Drek was behind this, I never would have done it. Is there anything we can do? Well, if you'll volunteer to be enlarged, you may be able to stop those mechs long enough for me to sabotage this machine. And then you will change me back? Uh, I've never tried that, but in theory, yes. Yeah, remember when playing as Giant Clank was actually fun? Actually, I kind of miss Giant Clank, because you don't see him again in later games, which is kind of unfortunate. And it, what, yeah, it definitely makes you feel powerful, especially when you step on those little guys. the triangle button to unleash a ton of energy gain. Step into the machine and we'll see what happens. Nice yes, yeah, sorry, they're doing yard work outside. Yeah. I've recalibrated the controls to allow only your specific circuit pattern. Oh, perfect. I don't know how to thank you two. Maybe this will help. New! 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 From Gadgetron, the makers of weapons and other fine products, comes the Hollow Guys. With the Hollow Guys, you can fool robots into thinking you're one of them. Match your wits against other robots. Work on robotic assembly lines. Attend robot parties. The Hollow Guys. Available only at Gadgetron headquarters for a limited time. Not to be used for illegal purposes. Wear only in sanctioned areas. You will not actually become a robot. If I can get that thing, I'll be able to get past those robot guards. Robots are not so easily fooled. 
I love how it goes, not to be used for illegal purposes when we are advertising that you will be able to use it for illegal purposes. Now we're off to... Oh, that's stuck. Yeah, now we're off to Kalibo 3. This is starting to become annoying. I'm not sure why I bother with you incompetent idiots. All right. I'll try this one more time. You are my most elite troops. I'm sending you down to the planet's surface to destroy those troublemakers. Now go! Oh, and if you have to destroy Gadgetron to get rid of them, so be it. I just know I'm gonna struggle with the, um, the hoverboard race, at least for a little while. So, forgive me if I do have to cut out a little bit of footage. I got some great bargains for you today. Actually, not so bad. Yeah, they can actually uh, shield you from from danger. You know what I can do? I can use the uh, I can use the walloper against those enemies. Or I could have done the what do you call him? The mind glove, but eh, whatever. <coughs> Excuse me. I got some great bargains for you today. I know there's some way to get beyond that, but I'm... I'm just going to play through it normally. Too early. 
I thought I jumped it. out of mines, we're just gonna obstruct you with our bodies. So, uh, come here often? Actually, oh. I work here, <laughs> so I come here all the time. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I've been following your progress. Here, shh, take this. It's a map -o -matic. It will be very helpful. I'll, uh, see you later. Bye, sweetie. I think she likes me. The Gadgetron map -o -matic can be used to find secret areas. Just go to your map screen, and all secret areas will be highlighted on the map. He's just like, oh man, a sexy robot? This is the year 2002, no one wants a sexy robot. <laughs> Instead, they're all fixated on green alien boobies. The um, employee break room is just occupied by chickens. Okay, I gotta pause for a second. Sorry, I'll be right back.
Okay, we're good. Sorry about that. And then Ratchet's like, oh, that doesn't sound too bad. And they're like, correction, um, the bunny room has been relocated. Initiate death and dismemberment. It's alright, I mean, not every joke lands, but the, the humor is still, you know, pretty good in the series. Hi there, Fuzzball. Thank <laughs> you. 
Excuse me, sir. I was wondering if you were concerned about the, uh, invasion? Done. Our defenses are the best money can buy. Don't give it another thought. You ever been on a hoverboard? Yeah, once or twice. I am in search of a hip young star to represent my newest line of boards. Some of my kids can look up to. And I am your man. If you can beat my <clears throat> test bots in a race, the job is yours. What? That was a friggin' close one.
Missed it. Crap. Yeah, I'm not doing so hot. Sorry about that. I'm trying it again. This is kind of crappy. trying again, I'm sorry.
boy. I don't think it. The rocket blew up or something. No wonder I struggled so much with this race. There we go. That was terrific! Now I just needed to say a few words about our hot new boards. Huh? Now? Of course. Just look into that camera right over there and say what comes naturally. Rolling! Uh, hi. This is Ratchet for, uh, Gadgetron Hoverboards. And if you, um... Yo, dudes, for the freshest boards in the galaxy, check out the new XZ88 from Gadgetron. It's so hot, it's cool. I think I it's got a the freaking wrong guy. pop tart. That was <laughs> something. Hey, I was thinking, do I get a discount on gadgets now? Uh, you have to be with the company for two years before the employee discount kicks in. <laughs> I can, however, let you have this. And even then, we might not give you the discount. The Gadgetron Hologuys is the perfect infiltration device for all our non robot customers. Simply equip the device and press the circle button. You will instantly be disguised as a sentry bot, preventing detection by all sentry bot security systems. Press the circle button again to wave at fellow sentry bots, who will then deactivate force fields for you. Caution use of any weapon while disguised will deactivate the Hologuys. Cool. So what I kind of like about that scene is that it goes to show that Ratchet has gone on about wanting to be famous, and right here, he is totally unprepared for a situation where he was on camera. Clank tries to save it, but yeah, it's pretty clear that at this point Ratchet 
realizes the difference between celebrity status and being a hero. And yeah, I, this is the point, like, in the remake where I absolutely shuddered when that guy said, Hashtag Gadgetron! Okay, so this is where I'm gonna uh, take a break. We're gonna go back to Core 2, and next time, I'm gonna try to beat the game. So, at this point, that's, that's it. Thank you for joining me once again. This has been Mike. 